In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the features in the Keyview 12.8 release. We'll start with a quick overview and then have a look at some of these in more detail. One of the big advantages of Keyview is the broad range of formats we support. And so we've added several new formats, as well as extending existing ones. We've also added support for several image formats through the use of OCR. We've continued to extend the export SDK, including new thumbnail generation. And we've extended Panopticon secure file sharing capability, putting RMS decryption into XML export and adding detection of Microfocus's smart cipher encryption to the standalone Panopticon API. One of the big themes of our past few releases is reducing our footprint, and in particular, the use of pipelining. This is the idea of reading less of the file before returning information that policies can act on. Summary information and XMP metadata are good examples of this, since that's often where RMS classification labels are stored. Knowing your document is labeled highly confidential might be the only information you need to initiate a security action, and pipelining helps your workflow get to that point faster and with less resource use. We've released a new test program for the filter SDK to make it easier to try out features and workflows. And we're keeping up to date with the latest platforms by adding support for 64-bit Linux ARM and Apple M1. Let's have a look at some of these in more detail. We've added support for three new formats this release. SAS7BDAT is a binary database format and the filter SDK can now retrieve text from these files. PKCS hash seven is used in secure mail. Kiwi could already support this data when embedded in an SMIME file, but now the extract SDK supports standalone versions of these files. Z standard is a compression algorithm created by Facebook and the extract SDK can now decompress zips that use this method. But as well as new formats, we also want to keep working on existing formats too. The first example you can see is that we now extract text from slide master layouts, regardless of whether that text is actually used in the presentation. I've highlighted the custom text since that's likely to be of most interest. But you can see we're actually getting out all the placeholder text from this slide. And in the full output, you'd see it from other slides as well. We've made it easier to retrieve mappy properties from MSG files. Keyview already supported retrieving these by numeric ID, but for some fields that ID can change on a file by file basis. So we've added support for retrieving those properties by name, uh, which is consistent across files. Here you can see we've pulled out the MSIP labels property, since that's where the RMS categorization label has been stored. Alternate data streams are a way for the Windows file system to store additional content alongside a file on disk. The RAR format will preserve these when compressing, and Keyview can now extract these as subfiles for RAR 4 format alongside our existing support for RAR 5. As with every release, we aim to increase detection support, and we've added about 40 new formats this release, which you can see on the screen. We've also added support for a number of image formats by embedding OCR directly into Keyview, rather than requiring a separate solution to be set up. As you can see on the screen, we support multiple languages and the text will come out in reading order. But as is normal for the filter SDK, we don't try to preserve the layout of the text. It's released on 64-bit versions of Windows and Linux and has an additional license but once it is licensed, it will be enabled by default. So we would generally expect no code changes to be required in order to take advantage of this new feature. One particularly common use case for OCR is scanned files, which often end up as images inside PDFs. We already recommend a workflow that first uses the extract API to retrieve all subfiles from a document. And this can include images if the extract images option is enabled. This means that, again, we wouldn't expect any changes needing to be made to existing workflows, except perhaps to enable extract images if it isn't already being used. 
we've released a new test program called Filter Test. This gives access to a number of features of the Filter SDK, which you can see in the program's help message here on the screen. Like all our sample programs, it's embedded with a six month trial license to allow you to try out new features and workflows. Finally, a new feature from the export SDK. We've added a thumbnail generator to the PDF export API, which will allow customers to convert their files to a PNG representation at a given size. And you can see some examples of that on the screen. This has been a brief look at the features released in Keyview 12.8. For more information, you can have a look at the 12.8 release notes, or the IDLE technical support team will always be happy to help.